Hi, Lynn. This is a quick review of how to edit some of the stuff on your website. Um, so this right here is the what we call the dashboard. This is what you'll see when you first get logged into the site. Uh, I'm going to send you login information along with a link for this video. Um, so typically I like to keep uh, a tab open with the live site and a tab open with the back end of the site so that I can go back and forth and see the updates that I'm making. Much most of what you'll need to be doing is you come right down here to pages on the left hand side. Think of this as your menu option right out here in this white area is where you're going to do the work. So just come down here to pages. It'll give you a list of the pages on the site. Um, let's say you want to edit the project delivery page. Like that. Up it comes here. Um, over here we can look at the project delivery page on the live site. There's all your text. If you want to update something, you just come right down here. You can see when you hover over it, you get this green menu option. Just click on the pencil. Up comes a new window, which you can resize, make whatever size you need for your work in. And you'll notice that it looks a lot, it acts a lot like a Word document. You've got options here for bold, italics, bullet lists, you know, alignment, all of that good stuff. Um, and really all it takes is you can stick your cursor in and Uh, when you're done making your updates, you can save changes. So you just added it here. Uh, it doesn't push it to the live site until you hit update over here on the right hand side. So you can click that. And then if we go to the tab of the live site and we hit the refresh button here, you can see that your new text has showed up right there. So it's just that simple. Um, if you want to insert a link, um, again, we just come right to that uh, edit button. to this little chain link looking icon, like that. And um, it gives you this option at first to type this in, but really the best thing to do is come right here to this little gear thing that gives you link options. And down here at the bottom, you can see a list of pages on the website. So you can just choose contact and it writes the link for you in right up here. You can say add link. There's your link. We hit save changes again. Once again, we come over here and we hit update. We can switch tabs again. Click the update, and then here it is. There's your link to the contact us page. Click it. Sure enough, it's the contact us page. If you want to link to an outside site, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, let's say you wanted to, for whatever reason, uh, link to Google. <clears throat> I always suggest that instead of trying to type out the, the link, that you actually visit the website so that you can copy and paste and then there's no chance of making an error. So you would just come right here, you'd click on it. Again, we just click this little pencil guy right here and come to the gear options. And then instead of choosing from the list of pages, we just paste that link right in there. And the only difference is that since we're sending them to a new site, we click this open link in a new tab checkbox. And that way, when they click the link, it opens a new tab instead of taking them away from your site. We hit update, we hit save changes, we hit update over here. And we refresh this screen. And now, when we click this contact us, it's going to open a new tab and take us to Google. Just that simple. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So I got rid of that extra text that we had added onto the page. Um, now we're back here to our list of pages. Um, for the projects page, um, you can see that we've got, I've got these placeholders, these gray boxes here. Now, um, I'm not sure what your level of comfort is with a photo editing like uh, Photoshop or Corel or Paint or anything even simpler than that um, to crop these to a particular size. Um, if you're not able to crop to the particular size that we need in this case, and I can send you the pixel dimensions, um, then you'll probably need to send those over to us uh, to get them placed. But in any case, 
Um, it's as simple once you have them cropped as coming here. You can see that there's a space for an image and then the space for the text down below. Again, just like before, if you want to edit any of these, you just can come in here and edit whatever is needed for the description. And then for the image, you just hover over that, click edit. You would remove the um, item here. You'd hit plus. And then you would just either, if it's in your media library already, you do it right here. Or we can come right here to upload files, select, and then you would just browse to wherever the image is on your computer. All that. Um, if you need to, um, you know, add more projects in, I would just suggest that you clone the row. You can come right here. You get this duplicate, and it makes a whole new row of the same stuff. And then you would just need to swap out these descriptions and the um, and the photos for whatever the new project is. I think that's the biggest part of what you will need um, that will at least give you access to updating the text on on the site if you need help again with updating those projects uh, let me know or you know in the meantime we could just uh, you know put image coming soon or something on here so that you could get the uh, get the site launched um, in any case uh, feel free to drop me another email or give me a ring if you want to talk anything through but uh, hopefully this will get you going so that you guys can finally get this